Hello, Sam from Toolhead here today. Today we're going to be programming a used powertrain control module in a 2008 Strat. For this job, we're going to be using a J2534 device. We're using a Drew product and we're going to use their J2534 toolbox for part of the process. So we are starting with the original PCM still in the vehicle. Make sure you understand that the original PCM is still in the car. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your J2534 toolbox or a similar product that can read the part number or calibration number from the PCM. I am using the Drew Technologies Cardac Plus 2 for this operation. Any Drew product will work with this toolbox. Just follow the directions there. We went down to read part number on the choices on the left. Copy this part number either onto a notepad or uh, just use your clipboard. You're going to need it more than once. So we're going to access our subscription. We're going to go to the J2534 application in progress. We're going to download ECU folder. ECU files. I'm going to paste that part number right in there. I'm going to make this window a little bigger so we'll see what's going on. We're going to make the only choice that's available and we're going to hit download. Once you hit download it's going to tell you to update your Java. Do not update your Java or it won't work. But because of the nature of Java you need to repaste the number. Hit download again. I did tell it run this time when the message popped up. It's going to run Java. And then we're going to get a message here that says file downloaded successfully. Once we have our file downloaded successfully message, we can close out of the browser. We don't need it again. Now we're going to start our J2534 application that hopefully you've downloaded onto your desktop. I will have another video on setting up your computer for Chrysler. Again, you have to choose the, you have to run your Java. Now I'm getting an error here. Uh, I chose the wrong J2534 device, so I'm going to scroll down, open up the select pass-through device, and I'm going to choose these plus two. <clears throat> Tells you to turn off the key. This is where it has read the part number. This is where you put your replacement PCM in. So now that your replacement PCM is in, it's going to up with a you're going to hit next and then you're going to get this message that essentially says that the ECM and the TCM are in the same function. So you're going to program the PC, the engine control module and the transmission control module at the same time. There's some messages come up on the screen, not really anything for you to do. Uh, just watch the watch things happen. I have sped up this video like I do most of them. Uh, just getting rid of the stuff that I don't think is necessary for us to sit here and watch. Uh, I don't like blue screens when I'm watching videos or blue bars. So I've sped up that process a little bit. This was a 30 minute video when I started it and uh, obviously it's not 30 minutes anymore. So the CAN Chryslers do take a lot longer to flash than the old pre-CAN Chrysler's using J2534. It's not horrible, horribly bad though. Make sure you do have a power supply on the vehicle. Uh, I run them about 13.8 volts when I'm programming. The pro progress bar is done here. We're going to get a message to turn the key off again.
nothing happens real fast with Chrysler, so don't get impatient. Don't close stuff. Here's our message for the key off. Essentially, it's done at this point. It's going to come up with the message at the bottom that says flash successful. It's kind of hard to see it. It's not a big window, not a big announcement. There's your message that says it was done successfully. So now we're going to go back to our J2534 toolbox. I did leave this in here on purpose. Um, you're going to need to change the VIN in the replacement computer. The Drew Technologies toolbox will work on a CAN vehicle about 50% of the time, I have found. Uh, you do need a different means to do it if it fails. This one happened to fail. So I just wanted you to know uh, it does fail sometimes. I use the Ytech to do it. You can obviously use an Autel. I don't know what all scan tools will do the function. At the point I was at, it was just time to, to get it done and move on. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more programming videos. Have a great day.